few things real quick. First off, I saw we got the court yeah, order back. Not on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can hear it. No, I need a name and address, please. Chuck Olson, you'll see it on the sheet there with my address. Uh, we got the court order back. I see for just a hearing concerning the sewage down on Peter on Finleyville and Rama Road. It's your property, Mr. Bond. Anyway, according to that. We've been saying please. Microphone ain't on. We can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay. We've been sanctioned. What that means is we're being penalized by the court. Now I'm sure Mr. Sweat's going to characterize this as a great victory because we only were sanctioned on one item. But being sanctioned on one item should be enough to try and remind the the, the, the board here that we are still in the state of Pennsylvania and are required to follow the laws here in Pennsylvania. As far as to what we were sanctioned for, basically, you lied to the judge. That's exactly what the sanction is going to be about. Now, you can try and pretty it up however you want to say it, but you lied to the judge. And you're going to be going back in front of that judge again. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been told by other people that know that in the courtroom in the state of Pennsylvania, the judge is closest thing there is to God. So that means you're going to have to try and appeal to a judge that's not going to be very happy with you because he thought this case was going to be done. It's not, obviously. And who knows how much longer you're going to be able to stretch this out. Now, that's just item number one. Let's go to some of the other items I'd like to go on. I see our secretary and freedom of information officers are both back here tonight after they disappeared last meeting in the middle of the meetings. My only question is, has anything been resolved? Obviously, since they're still here, that means both the board and Mr. Sweat have taken responsibility for whatever actions they took. That means it's now your fault anything that goes on in the future on this. That means if anything happens, let's say it becomes a hostile work environment for Ms. Dupree, that's on your front head. So my suggestion would be, why don't we just take those emails and make them public? That way everybody knows exactly what these officers all have to say, and everything can all be cleared up in probably a short period of time, one way or the other. The last thing I want to discuss is the bank account at Key Bank. Now, I wasn't here when this account was set up, but it wasn't. A, it was part of a project that I was working on. We got sewage to El Raymond. That's great, but we also have to keep a contingency account for anything that goes wrong with that sewage that goes into El Raymond. As I understand, most of the money in that account is left over from the account that was set up whenever we were paying a PenVest loan. I think PenVest would have a pretty, pretty <coughs> high opinion of being able to keep track of that money. Now, I talked to the West Aluga Sanitary Authority officers, and we're pretty much in agreement. The only thing we really are responsible for is paying money in that we collect from the residents down there that need to pay their bills. And we send it straight on to you. So that money came from somewhere. Now, as I understand it, that money came from PenVest. I think before you guys decide to start closing out these accounts, you might want to take a look and see whether or not PenVest is going to be really thrilled with having that account closed out. That's it for anything I have on the agenda. Thank you.